In the last video, I've explained to you how to build an empty object and how to save it in a variable. I've also explained to you how to assign a brand new object to that variable and how to give that object a single key value pair. So, what exactly is this key value pair? Let me inspect the object that's kept in the my car keys variable. When I type my car keys, then press the enter key, JavaScript evaluates this to an object which has a key of location and the value of the string data type. The value is kitchen. So, what is this key here, this location thing? You can think of it as this object's variable. To access this object's variable, I'll first type the name of the object, then the dot character, then the key, in this case, location. And now when I press the enter key, JavaScript will evaluate this as kitchen. This entire thing here, the key and the value, that is, the location, the colon, and the string right here, is referred to as a property. A JavaScript object consists of zero, one, or more than one properties. Objects are quite flexible. For example, I can add another property to an already existing object. To do that, I can use the dot syntax as follows. First, I access the object to which I want to add another property. In this case, that's the my car keys object. Then, I type the dot. And finally, I type the new key of this new property. Since I already have the location key, I want to add the last used by key. So I type last used by after the dot. After that, I will use the assignment operator to, remember, assign whatever's on the right of the assignment operator into the variable that's on the left of it. Well, in this case, the thing on the left is not a variable. It's actually a key of an object. So, what I want to do is assign a string data type to the last used by key on the my car keys object. That means I can simply add the me string to the right of the assignment operator. After pressing the enter key, the JavaScript engine evaluates this to the string of me. And that's why this is what gets returned. Okay, now to inspect the updated object, I'll type its name and press the enter key. This time, the returned object has two properties, that is, two key value pairs, separated with this comma character right here. You can access each of the object's properties using the dot operator. So if I execute my car keys dot location, I get the string of kitchen. And if I execute my car keys dot last used by, I get the string of me. In this video, I've shown to you that an object consists of properties. I've also shown to you that you can update an already stored object by using the dot operator. You've learned that the comma character is used to separate an object's properties. Finally, I've shown to you how you can access the values on specific keys of an object using the dot operator.